I talked about the importance of vocabulary when I'm stress testing. What that means is that if I have a vocabulary of only two words, or in confrontation in real life, I can just curse, then I have a limited set of results. And today, I'm going to talk about another thing. I'm going to talk about decision trees and what stress in stress test means and its effect on decision trees. And I'm going to exemplify it by using Mushadori. In some groups, they call it Musodori. Opponent stands before me and I try to get hold of his elbow and slam him to the When I do this, I can hear breaks, bam, breaks the elbow also. So this is the first branch of a decision tree. From this branch, I have a lot of vocabulary, but now I'm gonna use just two options. Option number one, he does something that interrupts my decision tree. I want to say something, he counters it and he takes his hand. And now I don't have the elbow and I have nothing. So from this, I have a vocabulary of omotegiya. Let's see it quietly. Pulls. If I want to, and I want to expand my vocabulary, then I get into mushadori. I want to try to do this, but he doesn't let me because it's hard while fighting to take his hand. And I will go to the other hand, into Temakura, and do. So now I have a decision tree of three techniques. This works, good. This does not work, pull the elbow. Domotegiaku will not work. I have Ude Garami or Temakura. But if I feel threatened, and with Asaf, I always feel threatened, okay? Then I will not be able to execute my vocabulary. If there is stress, I cannot execute my technical vocabulary. Take it easy, guys. And girls. And, <laughs> okay.